Ever wondered why pro tracks hit you like a sledgehammer and yours just tap you on the shoulder? It's all about contrast, baby. Building tension isn't just a gimmick, it's the secret sauce. By carefully shaping your build up with effects, you're creating space and energy so that when the drop hits, it doesn't just play, it explodes. And every big name producer does this to turn heads and shake floors. So how do we go from tap to slam? We're gonna go over techniques such as volume automation, stereo separation tricks, high pass filtering, reverb automation, <clears throat> and a secret one knob plugin to rule them all. So open up your DAW, follow along, this is gonna get fun. First things first, let's jump into our DAW and we are going to automate the master volume. Right click on your master volume fader and create an automation clip. We're going to bring the fader down by about minus 3 dB. Make sure you copy that value. Create an automation point at the drop and then copy your initial value. Paste that initial value where the drop starts and you've got yourself a saucy volume automation oh yeah next let's play with stereo separation we're gonna pump this all the way into mono before this baby drops use a plugin like fruity stereo enhancer or ozone imager to gradually narrow the build up into mono when the drop hits slam it back into full stereo for maximum impact here's a quick graph to show what's going on as we build up it pushes more into the mono territory and then at the drop bam Full stereo, baby. Now, let's add a high pass filter to our build up. This is gonna clear out some of the low end so when our drop hits, all of that beautiful bass comes straight back in. Adding a subtle reverb automation to your build up creates tension, like filling a balloon with air right before it pops. Create that automation clip, but don't go too far. There is such thing as too much reverb. And now the one plugin to rule them all. Are you feeling lazy? Maybe you should try Data Life's Endless Smile. One knob, all the source. Make sure you experiment around with your automation points and see what works for your track the best. Pro tip, why not stack multiple Endless Smiles? I mean, look how happy he is, how could you not? All right, let's take a listen to the before and the after. Now that you've set up these techniques, take a moment to listen to the before and after of your own track. Hear that? The build up is tighter, the drop hits harder, and the whole track feels like a meteor hitting the earth. That's about it for today. If you have any more tips and tricks that you want to know about, let us know down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and all we'll do all those things that all the people on social media ask you to do. Ah, I love my job. Ah, goodbye.